movie fair. My brain is usually not on. I just try to focus on the gameplay around it. Our story was kind of annoying. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If it was... If I had the, the thing for my 3DS that would allow me to play it directly from my 3DS and not having to worry about downloading an emulator, I would play it, hands down. But... I don't, so that means I have to download the, uh an emulator for it and all that stuff and I'm like the more I think about it, the more I'm like do I even care enough to try to go to it I know I said I was gonna play through all three of them for the Spotlight series but I'm like oh my god do I want to go through all that trouble and then the other part and I'm gonna be I'm trying to be honest 100% honest with you all the other part is because I really really want to start my Stardew Valley 100% playthrough I know, I know. Terrible reason. I know, most people are like, ew, Stardew Valley, ew, gross. But I, I really want to. I'm a... That's probably one of the only, one of the few farming sim games that I have played. Maybe because it's like an in, in it has the it has the feel of an indie game, you know. You had a hard time getting into it specifically because of the save system. Are you talking about for uh, Golden Sun, right? Dark Dawn. Yeah, because you had to save at the uh, the the little uh, Wise One Stones, right? You couldn't just flat out save wherever the heck you want it, right? They forced you into some really annoying state of saving. Which I, I don't understand why would none of the other games were like that. The other, all the other games you just save on a fly. So it's like why why would you change that in this one? Like what? Excuse me? Oh, you didn't like Stardew Valley save system? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, that's all games like that, though. Well, no, I guess not really all games like that. I'm not entirely certain how the Sims games work. Um, I know that, uh... No, no. All one is a quick save. But they were so adamant against it. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, yeah, that's that's weird. It it's not too much of a problem for me. Uh, but I can definitely see why that would be a problem for others. You know. Wait, why am I not a white mage right now? Oh no, she's supposed to be a conjurer. Do you think I'd get away with the condemn? Probably not, right? Yeah, because she's the white mage. You know, I don't even know what type these dudes have. Are they... I don't know, we're gonna hit them with the electric. See what that does. You know what? I probably could just physically attack them. Sometimes I need um, to switch to another um, OS, or sometimes come up and there's work to do, or sometimes I just need um, just not feeling that great and don't want to play anymore. I mean, at that point, you would have to. I mean, and this is still, still very inconvenient. But at that point, you just leave and. You would, you know, go back to your house and sleep for the day, let it save, and then close it, right? Or, if you don't mind redoing that work, you know, 
Just like, fuck it. It just would do the work. <laughs> I mean, of course, who wants to do that? <laughs> Okay, I was I need growth, but no one has it. She has it now. I gotta go up to the right somehow. I said somehow as if there wasn't a way right here in your face. Um Do I just grow both of them? But no, I definitely feel you. I definitely feel you. That being said, I still thoroughly enjoy that game, though. Another big problem is I don't think we'll be able to beat Dark Dawn before Fire Emblem comes out, you know? Which is a shame because there's still a bunch of other games that I want to try to play through. I still haven't beaten Elden Ring. It's fun when you decide gameplay can be lines up with the expectation. It's not fun otherwise. <laughs> games you love to hate, right? I think that was the only one, right? Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of all these alerts on my phone. I don't know why I have so many. Oh, they're all Metro alerts. Apparently there's a big issue going on a Metro Rail out where I live. And so now I have like 15 billion alerts for it. Yeah, it was one of those games where I didn't think it was fun at first. Um, I didn't like watching it at first either. But then I was like, I tried it for a little bit. I'm like, I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. Then I came back to it a little bit later and I tried it again. And I was like, once I started playing it more frequently, I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty fun. It also helped that my wife enjoyed watching me play it. Um, so, you know, she'd come from um, come to me time, from time to time and be like, hey, honey, are you playing Stardew Valley today or something like that? And I'd be like, I guess I could play it. Um, and then after a while, I just kind of got hooked on it. I don't know if it's the repetitive nature or what. I just got hooked, like hooked on phonics type hooked on it. Weather's so terrible, that would make it more enjoyable. You mean terrible as in... Alright, so the second one is the item. Snow again chaotic? I mean, the snow only ever happens in the winter, which makes sense, right? Um, and it, it doesn't rain too often, even though I, I like it when it rains because that means I have to do less work on my farm. Um, that was the only weather conditions I've ever seen though. Sometimes you have like pollen days or whatnot, but the only ones that ever really affect your gameplay would be snow and, and uh, rain. Um. And the snow usually ever happens during the winter. You're not doing anything during the winter anyway because your farm's frozen over. So you're mostly just going to the mines and delving down deep. Oh, you're talking about... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's actually been pretty warm. Um, today was like 50-something degrees. Tomorrow's going to be high 50s as well. And then Saturday's going to be in the 60s. Last weekend was our only bad... 
I'd say chaotic weather week. Uh, since then, it's just been warm. The nights can be a bit cold still, but no, nah, it's going to be... You hate that I call that warm? <laughs> I mean, it's warm for this time of year, you know what I mean? Because this time of the year is when you expect there to be like 30 degree, yo, know, and whatnot. So for us to come from a week, in, a weekend where the weather was, um, in the teens or below the teens during the night and you know mid to low twenties during the day. To, to a week where, a weekend where, oh god, now it's gonna be the 60s. Kinda weird, right? Especially since it's still, you know, it's not even through February yet. What's up, Infuriated? Welcome on back in. You're cold at 70? Wow. I mean, I personally have to wear a light jacket at 70, but. I know people that are like, yeah, no, that's hot. But my get my assumption is that you don't really get too much uh, in the way of uh, cold weather where you live, right? Mostly it's like 100 plus, right? Oh, uh, no, no, thank you. I was in Florida uh, for like a week and when it was like really hot and never again will I, I mean, I already hated hot weather, but that just solidified the fact that I'll never ever go to more hot weather. I will avoid hot weather like the plague. Scuba da. How the heck am I supposed to get down here? I mean, I know I need to move that other statue over, but maybe I went the wrong way. I need to go back in the round. How do I get caught by surprise uh, again? Am I going to DW on the uh, on the eighth? I have. I kind of have to. I initially wasn't going to, but, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Anika asked me to, if I could come up, because she wants to get this switch, so, uh, it changed to, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Plus, I want to tie out this, uh, I want to try out this, uh, what's the name of this deck? Reggie Drago deck. Put, and pick up those last few pieces of the, uh, Lugia deck that Chris is holding on to for me. I opened a box for Christmas, and I managed to get one more piece of Lugia, but <laughs> everything else is pretty bad. I got pure ply! Wait, who just wanted pure play? Oh, it was to bid him. Boom, boom, boom. Summer rains were annoying enough. Yeah, I'm assuming it would get really humid out there for you when it rains. I'm gonna break this so I can go down the center. You're about to sell the boy switches and upgrade them. They still have the OG base switch, right? How did I miss this, chat? I completely missed the fact that I could go over here. Doesn't get anywhere near as humid out there. Oh, wait, no, I didn't miss this. I knew I could go here. I just need to find a path up. So which means I need to go all the way over to the left somehow. Thunderstorms are quite rare. 
So it's usually just hot. You don't really get any other weather, it's just hot. Oh, it's the Phoenix! Kill everybody with the Phoenix! Kill everybody with the Phoenix! Oh, wait, no, I need double Phoenix. Okay, so we killed this Phoenix. We need to kill... We need double Phoenix for this to work. Typical desert problems? Ah. So it's like really cold at night and really hot during the day. Yeah, I can't imagine going through that constantly. Oh, uh, by the way, infuriated. Uh, has your brother tried the uh, the uh, flash drive? The dry heat doesn't compare to the humid heat we have, though. It's not so problematic near the summer months, but people can do and die um, of exposure overnight. Use it at your house and it worked fine. Yeah, I was just double checking to see if your brother had a chance to check it out. Not used for pets to die in the winter because people don't realize how cold it can be at night. Yeah, you don't want to mess with desert weather. For some reason, I'm thinking of Aladdin right now, but, you know. You were trying to transfer the data to a low-profile USB? I'm not, I'm not entirely certain what uh, what what that would entail. No, I have not. I imagine it's going to take a while though, because <laughs> it took forever for me to get it transferred to the flash drive that I had it on. It's just so many files. I'm curious as to why he wants to transfer it to a low profile uh, flash drive, though. Somehow I got turned around, and I don't know how. I need a way to get over to the far left. But somewhere along the line, I got turned all the way around. That was the third rage. You can't get candies to level up other Pokemon. Yeah, it sounds about right. I've honestly just been playing Umbreon. I just use Umbreon for everything. I play support and let everybody else be stupid on their own. And if, they, if we lose, it can't be my fault because I'm not an attacker. I'm a supporter. All I do is lower physical defense and use helping hand and cheers when it, when it's necessary. It's a smaller job and fits thing there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Should be possible. I've already downloaded all the uh, fixes and stuff to the arcade machines that needed to be downloaded with it, with the files. So yeah, he should be able to do it. I imagine all he has to do is, you know, plug it in, download the data. It's just going to take forever because there's, you know, thousands of files. <laughs> so he, he could just be there for a while. Oh, I see how to do it now. How did I miss that? You can jump over. You can jump over the crevice. I am such a noodle. 
I'm a noodle for toodle. You're frozen in this raid, nothing's happened. It's probably just the system trying to catch up to all the nonsense that's going on. That happens to me a lot too. I, I was on my computer, my Switch earlier, trying to catch uh, Slowpokes. I was trying to get three shiny Slowpokes so I can have the Slowpoke one in my living decks. Um, and I only was able to find one, and my god, are they hard to find. Even with the, uh, the food buff, I can only find one, and Jesus, you can't even see them. They're so light. There's so much alike the no the regular slowpoke that I couldn't see them with nothing. Horse problems? You're shocked, they tell you. Shocked. <laughs> well, you know, Nintendo online games, most on most of Nintendo's online games that require you to connect to more than one other person usually tend to go bad. They usually tend to go poorly. Especially if you have somebody on there with terrible connection, that just ruins the whole experience for you as well. Sounds like you have to restart your game, sir. Cool. Totally fun uh, doing co-op and not being able to join raids because you had a totally different set of crystals. That shouldn't affect whether or not you can or cannot join a raid though. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that still, no, still shouldn't affect whether or not you can or cannot join a raid. If the crystal is, a is this for you? I mean, if you go to the, uh, what's the, Poke Portal, I think is what it's called? Um, then you should be able to join any raid so long as someone has it active and is searching for people, you know, other people. I don't even do my own crystals anymore. I literally just go specifically to Poke Portal and just do everybody else's raids. Much simpler times. No, the problem was specifically that my set of crystals was totally different from the host. Compared to- Oh! So you're talking about through Union Circle. So if I went to a crystal and it said it was person A's, that crystal was either not there at all. Well, so yeah. The way it would work is that your friend with, so say like you wanted to do a crystal on your friend's um, side of, um, or your friend's game. All you would do is your friend would talk to the crystal. He would say, um, make sure he's online. He would say, search for other people. It should bring up a menu for whether or not you want to do like with anybody or if you want to do it with specific people that have this specific code. If he does with specific people and he gives you that code, you should be able to just go to the Poke Portal and join his raid through that. You can't physically go up to the the crystal itself and talk to it though. You have to go, one of you guys have to go to the Poke Portal at all times. The only person that can talk to the crystal is the host. Everybody else has to go to the portal. The portal didn't work. So then you were having a uh, you were having a game issue then. I was like, cause I I know it works for me and my wife. 
uh, uh, rather I should say me and my wife's system because I was using her game to uh, do raid battles and stuff. Just so that she can get uh, candies and whatnot. It just popped up. Oh, okay, so it did just pop up for you guys. Can I make this? I was I should be low enough, right? Not my feet! Not my toes! <laughs> Not my pretty toesies! I would get the pop-up and then I'd open the menu and it'd be something like, no raids found or whatever the message was. And I could see them joining on their stream. Interesting. Yeah, that could definitely be... That sounds like either a bug or there might have been an internet connection problem. I'm probably leaning more towards the bug. But I do know that internet connection issues like uh, can affect that as well. But it's, it's probably a bug. <laughs> if you guys were still in the union room, just couldn't find the raid, it was probably a bug. Um, it could other, That or it could have been um, point of times in game. These weren't six star raids, were they? These were just like random, like regular, regular, regular raids, right? Okay, so basically at the start of it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it, it, then that would either be a, yeah, it would have to have been a bug, but you said you, it didn't, when you close out the game, it didn't work. Still. Interesting. Yeah, so then if it, if you don't, I mean, you, so yeah, it would be a bug then. That would definitely have been a bug. That's why you quit. Well, I don't know, play it by yourself. Now, I can see the, the the appeal of playing it with others. I personally just like playing it through, uh, through by myself because I watch somebody streaming it with other people and they literally got nowhere. <laughs> and I wanted, if I didn't get anywhere in the game, I wanted that to be my fault and not anyone else's fault. Uh, I didn't want to be like blaming every people because I didn't get anywhere in the game. Like, God darn it, you kept me from going to the gym. You bought it literally for the co op. That's fair. It's funny because Pokemon games are one of the few games that I don't want to play co op with. You don't get to play multiplayer much, so you bought it for that. Sword Shield had better raids? I don't know. I I don't know if I agree with that. Um, and I'll, honestly, they feel the same. The terror raids feel the exact same as Sword Shield raids. The only difference is that, you know, Gigantamax Pokemon. And maybe the aesthetic. You mean the connectivity issue? No, I, I, I don't agree with that still. Um, at the start, there was nothing but connectivity issues for those raids. That's something, that stuff that was patched out later on. 
I was having issues. Uh, I, I mean, and again, not everybody had the same playing experience. Um, as for the, like for my playthrough, I didn't have any bugs or anything like that. Uh, but a lot of other people I know, including you, had bugs and stuff like that. Um, the same goes for connectivity issues. I have experienced very, I personally have experienced very few connectivity issues. I've experienced some, just very few. Um, and it's far less than what I experienced in Sword and Shield before they started patching stuff out. No, I was beyond week one for me. I... Even up to the game, the day that I stopped playing the game, I was still experiencing issues, you know, with connectivity and so on and so forth. About as much as I'm experiencing right now with, you know, Scarlet Violet. The only upside to the Sword and Shield ones is that the gameplay felt faster for the raids as opposed to this one with the issues. So, like, with uh, Scarlet Violet, if you experience some kind of, like, lag in, like, someone's internet connection... You can really feel it. Like, it feels sluggish and sluggish, and you can't do... you like, smashing a button, nothing's happening. Um, whereas in Sword and Shield, it didn't feel as sluggish when you... You'll definitely tell when there's a lag, but it didn't feel like, you know, you wanted to take your system and throw it at a wall <laughs> and see if it worked. The game is sluggish on single player? Well, that's just frame issues. That's, that's frame rate issues that the game has... That's something that needs to be patched out. But at the same token, that's the same thing that existed in uh, Sword and Shield's uh, wild area. And I mean, that's basically what Scarlet and Violet is, right? A giant wild area. Say on average the online experience was, was better. I need you. I would need to see the numbers for that. I would need to see the the physical numbers for that. Otherwise, I would still be inclined to disagree with that. Boop boop. But yeah, it, it definitely has frame rate issues. Um, there's definitely sync issues, uh, connectivity issues um, at times. Animation issues. I'm not, in terms of like animation slowdown, because if you're talking about animation slowdown, that, I think that still falls under the frame rate category. Clipping through Coridon and Moridon. Oh, okay. I would say, what? Is that an animation, though? I guess that would be an animation issue. Is it? I'm not entirely certain what they would consider that. I don't know if they consider it an animation issue or something else entirely, but... <laughs> if you put them in the picnic, stare right side of them. Is that an animation thing, though? Because the stuff is still animating the way it's supposed to. You just clip through. I don't know if that's an animation thing or if it's something completely different. You know? Yeah, they consider it, a, it's an animation visual clipping. Okay. Yeah, it's an animation. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I, I felt like they, they would consider that something like completely different. Still a huge problem though, right? <laughs> unless, you, unless you're me, who thought that, all of that was just hilarious. I was laughing my butt off.
Fingers crossed that they're working on a patch, though. So, right now, the general consensus is that they won't from most... Well, the general consensus from most people is that they won't. Um, I don't know. I think they will, though. You'd be pleasantly surprised if there's a significant patch. I mean, I don't know why you would. They patched out a bunch of stuff from Sword and Shield. That's the weirdest part about it. It's like, they definitely patch out their games. It's not this weird anomaly if Nintendo patches out their games. Or not Nintendo, uh... Nintendo and Game Freak, I guess, technically both. We'll say the Pokemon Company. Probably the one you picked up. Yeah, it's weird, because my wife didn't experience anything with her uh, Violet either. I think she might have experienced one game shutdown. But outside of that, she didn't really experience too much. Uh, she didn't really have too many issues. I couldn't remember what I was supposed to do. And I, I remember it now, though. You know, I know. I saw that. Yes, I saw the clips of that, too. Of you falling through the map. Ah, <laughs> uh, you poor guy. <laughs> And then the whole time, I, all I kept thinking was, did you have a nice fall? <laughs> yeah, I, I count myself extremely fortunate that I only experienced one shutdown. One, like, the game restarted on me. And that was it. I didn't get any weird stage clippings or animation clippings. Um, I did have the weird thing where when you would enter a building or, um, or a room or something like that inside of Naranja Academy or the sandwich buildings, uh, there would be a weird Pokeball. Um, it could, it'd be one of the, one of the Pokeballs in your inventory would just be stuck there in the entryway, like, halfway into, um, halfway sticking out of the ground. I thought it was funny. It wasn't messing anything up or anything like that. It was just weird. It was giving you cyberpunk vibes? I, I, that's, that's a, that's a huge stretch, though. That's, 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 that's a major stretch. The game was by no means unplayable. Cyberpunk was literally unplayable. Like, it had- it glitched so bad that the game itself wouldn't let you proceed forward. That's why when everybody make that comp when everybody whenever somebody makes that comparison, I'm like, could you guys find any other bad game that glitched and you know had issues like that and compare it to that, please? Because Cyberpunk was Cyberpunk was like on another level. <laughs> that one was so bad that they literally had to pull that from the stores just because it was glitching so bad. No, it's not as stressed up as your experience. You beat the game, right? You you beat the game, right? If you were able to play through and beat that game, then by default, it was nowhere near Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk had glitches that would literally break the game. You could not play the game, period, point blank. Even if you turned it off and turned it back on, you would still be stuck in the same spot and you can't play the game. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> you you beat the game. You were able to play the game. If something happened, 
you could always restart the game and would fix it whatever issues with it um that you know the game had had for the time being the issue would probably come back at some point but it would fix it for the time being that wasn't happening with cyberpunk cyberpunk was you you glitch out you're screwed you can't you can't play the game anymore you gotta wait for them to either patch it or uh get your refund It was put on another level because of the level hype. Exactly. And I think that's all it was. It, it was hyped up, hyper, uh, you know. It's Pokemon. It's going to be hyped. It's it's a new generation. That's what you expect, you know. Um, and it's it's a thing where Game Freak has done... I'm not Game... Well... Game Freak and Creatures has done this for the last, what... Oh, this is last, the, the last, because it was just, uh, it was just Sword and Shield, right? Let's Go wasn't, you know, there weren't any issues with Let's Go or anything like that, so it was just Sword and Shield. Um, where, you know, they released it in, uh, not, a less than ideal state. Um, and so people were like, well, maybe Game Freak would get their act together, and uh, they did. <laughs> they did. You able to play through Cyberpunk? Yeah. And it, and it's it's not even that I meant for those who experienced that glitch. The problem is that that glitch exists. So that means at any point in time, any particular player could experience that glitch and they can't play the game anymore. So they had to pull the game down because can't have a game out there where you per where people can't potentially play it anymore as opposed to Scarlet and Violet where the glitches were bad don't get me wrong the glitches were bad but they weren't like game breaking they didn't they didn't absolutely freeze your game state to a point where you can't move forward they just it was jarring and annoying for anybody that would feel compelled to sit down and actually power through the experience you know And you think that there was a time when games were fully developed and released? So... I don't compare that to Pokemon games though. Just because Pokemon games have always had that weird release schedule. Um, and they've always been on 2D or, you know, the little sprites on your, your handheld. Um, and even the 3D sprites on handheld. Uh, the first one, X and Y, was a little awkward, but, uh... I would say because they always worked on such small devices, we were forgiving of all the crap that they put out. It's just now that it's on the bigger um, devices and we can clearly see all the crap that they're trying to skip over or gloss over that was not as prevalent in the smaller games but still there. Now we're realizing that, yo, we've been giving them a pass for <laughs> forever. <laughs> also, what's up, Fluffy? This is the buggiest co Pokemon game? Yeah. But, I mean, this was also, you know, their... Technically their second attempt at a... No, this is their first attempt at a full open world game. Um, I guess... Because I, I assume what they were going to do is they were going to build off of what they did for Legends Arceus into this game. No. It would appear that they were working on the engine for whatever engine they used for Sor uh, Sor Sor Scarlet and Violet around the same time that they were working on Legends Arceus. So they're two completely different, you know, engines, which is, I thought, I think that's weird. I thought they were building Legends Arceus engine to therefore use that engine in Scarlet and Violet. It's weird that they didn't go that route, because um, one, it's extra work, uh, which would have required more time. These games needed more time, definitely. Um, at least half a year. <laughs> that like These games should not have released until March. I would have given it March or April before releasing, but I also understand why. They had to release them early. I get why they had to. It's just unfortunate because we were... It meant that we ended up having to have 
crap for games instead of something more polished. Like, I get it, but it's like, come on, guys, y'all can't do that. You wonder what the Q&A process looked like? But, th again, you're if you reset your game and it works, it's not broken. It's... That's just a, a bug or a glitch that uh, can be patched out. When I when I when I hear broken game, that's when I think of Cyberpunk, where you glitch, you can't play the game, you can't you can't progress further, you can't do anything. You restart the game, you come back, that same glitch is still there, and you still can't do anything. That's what I call broken. Uh, a hard reset, that's something you can do with like your TV. If your TV's having an issue, you reset the TV just to fix the issue and it goes away. You know, that's... That, I wouldn't consider that broken, just having an issue. But I mean, again, that's me. We all think of things in different ways, in different manners, you know, so... They're both, uh, they're, they're definitely both bad. <laughs> I'm not arguing that that they're definitely both bad. That that is something that cannot be debated whatsoever. That is a god-given fact, and and Pokemon Company is going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives. Unfortunately, that is just something that's going to linger over them forever, which is unfortunate because that means the DLC and the next expansion is going to that's gonna it's gonna just have that giant buggy mess just sitting on top of it now if they decide to increase the development time for generation 10 which i don't think they will because it's the pokemon company and they like money uh i feel like we'll be at the same same mess in three years we'll be in the same mess all over again be hilarious too I've never released a game but I've released libraries that people use I'd be embarrassed to uh, publish something with major features that were broken yeah I mean I would be embarrassed to release anything with glitches like that as well but I mean they didn't really have too much of a choice in the matter Or rather, I should say, they didn't have too much of a choice at a certain point in terms of delaying the game and whatnot. Like, unfortunately, Pokemon is one of those games, um, or at least the main series or the main line Pokemon games, the one that the one that moves generations forward. Feels like they're one of those games that if they're going to be delayed, they need to be delayed early into the thing like they would need to know a year into the development that they're not gonna be able to make it on time and delay it by then uh, otherwise it gets to a point where it's too late to move it back it's not one of those games that you can come within a year of its release and be like we can delay it uh we want to delay this game to give it some more polish and whatnot because at that point tcg uh tcg uh, anime, toys, all that stuff has already been marketed out, you know, and made and whatnot and ready to be pushed out on these specific, you know, time slots. The anime is going to end at this time, which means the card game needs to come out at this time, or the video games to come out this time so that the anime can end and move on properly and so on and so forth so that we don't spoil, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and they kind of put their own foot into it because they didn't do that. They didn't delay it early. They wanted to push it out, you know, in the little the three year time cycle that they've always been in. And they need to learn that that's not going to work. It just isn't. It worked back then because the DS, the 3DS weren't as, you know, uh, visually demanding as 
what we what people expect from you guys on bigger hardware like the Switch. Um, and so they they need to change their development cycle. It needs to move up to a four three a four to five year cycle. Um, and the generation just needs to last longer. They'll have to figure out a way to, even if it means more filler for anime, um, and more filler card sets, they need to figure out a way to push that cycle up more. It, it has to. That's why you're not expecting- Now, I- I definitely believe they will do a patch. I definitely believe they will do a patch. Well, Advance Wars isn't going to make them much money, so they don't really care about delaying that. But I, I definitely think they're going to bring, um, there's going to be a patch. Specifically because, well, for multiple, not specifically because, multiple reasons. The first reason is, this game is what is going to be used as their competitive, um, for their competitive scene for the next three years. Their online, this online service is what's going to be used for the next three years. So, and they can't leave it in the state that it is right now. You know, for three years. So they're going to have to patch that. Um, and the other reason is DLC. They don't want to release DLC. Or I can't imagine them wanting to release DLC that plays the exact same way as the main game did you know, buggy, a buggy mess, right? Like, would you as a person want to do that? I know me as a person, I wouldn't want to do that. So I would only assume that as people, they aren't going to want to do that too. Now they can definitely prove me wrong. I mean, it's video game companies. They do what they want when they want, but I don't think I don't think the amount of money they made is going to blind them from doing anything like patches and whatnot. I think it's less about pushing...